lot. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me know if you can hear me. I have no with me. I'm going to do a good intro for them, but I'm trying to make sure you guys can hear me. I see it. I'm just popped open the chat here. Good afternoon. Hey, good morning. Oh, okay. We have people from all over the place. Yeah. Why don't you drop in the comments where they're, where they're tuning in from? Because this should be interesting. Got a lot of people in here. Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, yes. yes okay, yes. good, good. Awesome. Hello, hello. I'm so excited you are here. Where are you watching from? We have London. Okay, good, Ontario, Texas. Texas, Trinidad, Las Vegas, Ohio, South Africa. We Thank have Canada you know. in here. Okay. Jamaica. We so we all over the Caribbean, Tennessee. Yes. Oh man, Florida. <laughs> The Netherlands. Oh, wow. Australia. Oh, wow. Chat is moving fast now. Yes. <laughs> yes. So everyone, I just want to first and foremost, thank you so much for joining us on this live today. We are super excited to be here. I'm excited because we have a special guest, Neil Lassen from Book Boat. Uh, hello, so hello. <laughs> He has been doing this, y'all, for a long time, okay? He has been uh, creating books on KDP for over 10 years. So he has stopped by to try to help us along on our journey so that we can be successful in this. Because, you know, I always say in 2023, we're not wasting time this year. We are trying to actually sell books and make some money. <laughs> so, Neil, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. This should be this should be pretty fun today. Yes, it's still ATL. Okay. Still and speaking of uh, not wasting time this year, we're all, we're what two months in? It is literally almost the end of February here. So hopefully everyone in the chat is uh, taking some action. And if not, hopefully by the end of today's video, uh, you can have your first product published on Amazon. Yes. If you've not done it already, which if you've been watching Monique for any amount of time, you probably should have done it already. But hey. No better time like the present, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, and Florida, actually... hello. All right, cool. So do you, you guys want to get started? Should we get started here? Um, who in the chat? I want to ask a quick question though before we get started. Who in the chat has published on KDP before? Anything. Long book, low content book, puzzle book. And who has not which one of you guys has not published anything on KDP? Because today we're going to go over quite a few things. And I want to have just a general idea kind of before we get started. And I'm Monique, I think we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, the business as a whole, kind of how it works. Wow, there's a lot of chats coming. Yes, it's, and it's moving fast. <laughs> guys, yeah. I don't have the ability to read that fast, but this is awesome. Not yet, not yeah. yet, not yet. A lot of people are saying not yet. They have not had the chance to publish anything yet, but that's the okay. purpose of this okay. live. I want to get right. you published. So let's uh, go ahead and just kind of talk over the general business model of Amazon. So the reason why Amazon is so great, and Monique and I were talking literally right before we went live here, is that if we were to go out and start like a brick and mortar store or something where you have to produce physical products, if you will, uh, not only is there a bunch of overhead for that, you have to go and find someone to design the product, you have to get the product manufactured, then you have to figure out how to sell it, how to acquire customers, so on and so forth. And guys, I've, I've tried this before. I literally used to sell stuff on Amazon that I would have customized in China. Let me tell you, not a good experience. Bad. Things would get stuck in customs. I had all the money tied up. So what I'm basically trying to say is with Amazon, you have a built-in customer base. I'm talking like millions and millions and millions of people go to Amazon. They don't go to Amazon for entertainment like they do, say, TikTok. They don't go to Amazon to scroll through their friend's feed like they do Instagram. They show up on Amazon to buy products. Like they're already in that buy products mindset. So all you have to do really is find out what they're, what they're buying and offer them a product. And the cool thing with KDP, so Kindle Direct Publishing, is that you don't actually have to uh, ship anything. You don't have to deal with any customers screaming at you that they're mad their shipping is late. No, Amazon will print it. They will ship it. They will pay you a royalty. You literally, once you do the work, 
they will pay you a royalty without you ever have to actually interact with the customers you're selling to. So long-winded way of saying, um, you know what? I'm going to bring up the KDP Amazon. If you guys, because I saw a lot of no, not yet, a lot. And I'm going to put this in the chat. I hope it doesn't get lost because today my goal is if we're going to follow along to get you guys a product up on Amazon so that you are a published author. Does that sound good? All right. I'm going to drop it in chat. Hopefully the chat doesn't start running <laughs> really, 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 really fast. All right. So I just dropped in chat. You should see book bolt down there in the chat on the right side, somewhere down there, I think. And I'm going to um, pin it if I can catch it. <laughs> Here, Monique, I'll drop it to you in, in Zoom here so we can put that somewhere. Go and sign up for a KDP account. It is free to sign up. You literally can do it anywhere in the world. It's just you're going to sign up with your name. It's going to ask you, hey, are you a business or not? More than likely, you're just going to be an individual. And it's going to ask you to fill out a tax interview very, very fast. It's literally just you know your information. They need to know who they're paying so that they have that in their system. Okay, that's not going to be public information. I'm not going to see it. Monique's not going to see it. So do yourself a favor. Go sign up for KDP right now. It's completely free to do, and it's going to allow you to sell products on Amazon to those millions of customers. So go ahead. I mean, I'm going to have to paste it. Um, it's that. actually in the uh, description, guys. I'm so sorry, Neil. Um, oh, no problem. Because they're asking why they're, they're not seeing the link. I have it in the description, but I'm going to also add it over here. Because uh, it moved so fast, I didn't catch it. <laughs> Let me refresh this page real quick. Yeah, Monique, why don't you go ahead? Because I don't see the KDP link in the description. So the okay. one I sent you on Zoom. Um, it's just, guys, if you just go open up a new tab, you don't have to watch me or Monique do this. Just open up a new tab, type in kdp.amazon.com and go and grab yourself a KDP account, because that's literally the portal to those millions of customers. Now, yes, there's some work in between, and we'll go over that and show you uh, how that's going to work. Um, but it's, I, it is my favorite business model. I've been doing a lot of, of things in the, since, I don't know, 2010. I have bounced around. I've tried literally everything. I love KDP. It allows you to be creative, but also reach a ton of different customers. So go grab that account before we continue this for sure. Great to see your face. Tune in every Thursday. M Star. Hey, how you doing? I'm just reading chat. Guys, we've given you a little bit to go. It there we go. In now. There it is. Monique's dropping the perfect, perfect. What are we purchasing? You're purchasing absolutely nothing. You're going to go and sign up for a KDP account. That's Kindle Direct Publishing. It's going to allow you to publish books. And when I say books, we're not talking like, hey, sit down for the next three months and write yourself a novel. I've done that. It takes way too long. Don't do that. We're talking about low content books. So journals right? Especially during the pandemic, everyone's sitting there doodling things down, making to-do lists, bored out of their mind, puzzle books, activity books, maze books, blood pressure trackers, anything you can think of. Monique did a video where she created one specifically for Christmas, right? All, anything you can think of is probably a niche that you can find for a book. So go get that KDP account completely free because you're going to need it. At the end of this video, you're gonna have a you're gonna have an item waiting to be published on Amazon. So go go do that right now, and then uh, we'll give you guys a little bit of time because you don't need to watch us, but you should go and get that KDP account. And I just want to say, Stephen, thank you so much for sending that love, Steve. I really appreciate it. All right, wow, we have a a pop and chat today. That's awesome. All right. So I'm going to continue this, all right? And I'm just going to go over it, and I'm going to ask you guys a question real quick before I actually start sharing my screen. Any general ideas that you have for a low-content book? Because I've seen a lot of people in the chat saying, no, they haven't published anything yet. They haven't published anything yet. And I think the, the issue here is that a lot of people don't really think about the possibilities of everything that's published on Amazon. Anything you can think of off the top of your head is more than likely something that someone on Amazon is buying. So just drop me some niches down below because we'll go over this and I can kind of show you when I'm going to share my screen here in a second, um, what is actually on Amazon? Because that's literally where everyone should start. Hey, 
I've heard about this idea through Monique. You, you might be seeing me for the first time. Uh, what is this all about? We can just go to Amazon and pick a few of your ideas in the chat here. And I can just show you. Now I see, okay, self-care, astrology, religion, coloring books, wellness. Awesome, awesome. Motivation for kids, AI art, self-love, adult coloring books, dot to dot. All right, this is awesome. All right. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Share screen. All right. Actually, you know what? Before I share my screen, everyone just signed up for KDP. Hopefully, if you don't have a KDP account, you're going to go grab one. Monique put that in the description. She also linked it in the chat. Now, because I want you guys to get a book published today, today, not tomorrow. We're not going to procrastinate. We're not wasting time this year, as Monique said. Today, you're going to go down into the description of this video. And at the very top, you should see a link for a three-day trial. We made it so there's literally no credit card needed. Okay, so you're going to go over there. I'm going to bring this open so you guys can see it and throw it over here once I share my screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, so go down into into the description. You're gonna click that link. You're gonna enter in the coupon code Hinton Live. This is just if you use it after those three days. Remember, there's no credit card required. It's gonna just slash off 20%. This is going to go away after this video. Like we are literally going to remove this. So you wanna do it right now so you can follow along. And then once you're following along at the end, we're going to have a book to publish on Amazon. Does that sound good? Awesome. Awesome. Publish it, publish it, publish it. All right. Need to be signed up for KDP. Go grab that KDP account. Click on the link in the description. Use that hint in live coupon code. There's no credit card required to get you in quickly because we're going to go through an example of this. Now, I see a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ideas in the chat. So I'm going to move this open so you guys can see. Uh, Bookbolt right here. Bookbolt.io. This is where you're going to go to. But let's just look at some of these ideas we see in the chat, shall we? So I'm going to move this down so that I can see. Uh, Tabitha, link is going to be down below in the description. But let's just open up Amazon. So I have this book up, pulled up, right? I'm going to get off this. But just to show you that, hey, I actually do publish on KDP. You'll see my name, Neil Lassen, right here. We actually just published this book. This is not a low content book, right? This took me months, months. We're not talking about months here. We're talking about end of this call. We are going to look. We're going to look at some low content books and we're going to get something that you guys can publish. All right. So I'm going to scroll up here and look at some low content books, ideas. I see gardening. Um, Let's see. Gardening, self-help, etiquette, manners, poetry, dot to dot. Let's try dot to dot. Dot to dot book. And then all of a sudden you see dot to dot book for kids age eight through 12. Amazon's going to recommend a lot of different keywords. So we can just, Hey, here's one for adults. And we can start looking sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. Wait, hold on now. One moment. I'm so sorry. Uh, a lot of no people problem. are saying the link is not working. I'm trying to, which link guys, is it the KDP or is it the one in the description for book bolt, the, the free trial? I want to get this link working. I see a lot of people saying invalid. Oh yeah, Monique, working. I think you copied. I think you copied the link wrong in the description for the uh, the three day free trial with the secret coupon code. Because I see, I see a cut off there. Okay, hold on one moment. Let me grab the right link. We want to get this right for you guys. I am going to the description to fix it. I'm going to drop that into the um, into the chat, guys, and I'm going to uh, pin it. Check out the pinned comment. Make sure that link is working. And yes, this will be recorded. You'll be able to rewatch this. All righty. Let me know if you guys can access that link now. It's in the chat. I'm going to also put it in the description. Fix that. Let's see here.
And guys, you might need to wait a little bit on that link because I think we have like 700 people just smashing it right now. Yes. It will it will load on you, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> will this be recorded? Monique, it should be, right? I assume. Yeah, it's, it's they'll, fine, they'll so. be able to play a bit, yeah. Perfect, perfect. So guys, when you click on that, just let it load. It will load in, I promise. It's just we have a lot of people smashing that right now. But while you guys wait for that to load so you guys can get inside, I'm going to just show some of these uh, examples here. So dot to dot books for adults. These look fairly complicated. You can create them with book bowl. Here's flowers. Here's amusement parks. Here's I saw mandala, mandalas, mandalas, however you guys want to say that. I saw that in the chat as well. So anything that you guys can think of, and I saw gardening, right? So let's just type in, come up here. I'm going to type in gardening journal, blind pages, right? Look at these. We have gardening complete beginners, gardening journal. We have a planning and log book for people who like gardening, a gardening log book, a gardening planner, anything that you guys can think of. If you just come over here to Amazon and you type in whatever you're thinking of and put notebook or journal or puzzle book or activity book, I promise that there is more than likely going to be some results in here, okay? So, I mean, I can just open one of these up and we can actually take a look at it. Like, look at this one. It's priced at $12.99. It has a bunch of reviews. This is the book cover. You guys can create this stuff. I'm going to show you guys how in a second. Look at the interior of the book. They have a name your garden property. of This is the front page. And you have, this is going to be probably what the majority of the book looks like. Goals for my garden. It's lined pages. Okay. Might seem complicated. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. All right. So a few examples there. Hopefully you guys are clicking on that link and you're getting inside and Bookbull is loading. Make sure that you have not only one, a KDP account. That's important. That is your portal to the customers on Amazon. That's your portal, right? You're going to need that. It's free. You're going to click on the link in the description. You're going to get a free book bolt account. You're going to enter in that coupon hint and live. Remember, we're going to remove that at the end of this video. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys kind of what I pulled up. So we're inside of book bolt right now. This is the tutorial pages, which you're going to see once you are inside. Now I've pulled up a few things before we got on the live to kind of speed this process along. So it's not just me talking here, uh, but few things. You have the cloud module right here. Now, if you click on the cloud module, this is going to be a recreation of the Amazon KDP database. What that really means is that when you want to think about the concept of creating these low content books and selling these low content books, what a lot of people, I don't want to say get wrong, but they think, hey, I just need to see what's selling on KDP and do just more of the same. That can work, but the problem is there's a lot of competition on Amazon. So if you spend the amount of time needed to find something that has high demand, right? So there's already customers there willing to buy products, but there's not that many products. That's low competition. So that is going to be what you are looking for. And I can just pop in here to the cloud and as you see, I'm looking in the coloring book category. I'm looking at the top 100. Now, we're not going to create a coloring book today, but I just wanted to show off like what kind of money these books are making. So this book right here, I found literally yesterday. We'll open up Amazon on it. It's bestseller. It's not been on Amazon for very long. And it's like a coloring book for uh, people that are trying to be pharmacologists, right? So it's a learning tool. They took two different ideas. They took a learning tool, they took a coloring book, and they merged them, okay? At $30, and this is the highest priced low content book I have seen on Amazon. They're making almost $15 a sale. And just looking at this, you know, estimated monthly sales of $800. They're making like ten to twelve thousand dollars a month on one book, right? So, I want to show you guys that it's possible to make a lot of money doing this, but it does require the work, the research. You have to put this stuff together. So, that being said, I want to show you guys how to actually create a book, and I want you guys seriously to follow along because if you follow along. And at the very end, you'll be able to download your book and upload it to that brand new KDP account that you just created. So does that sound good? 
Does that sound good? If we go through how to actually create a book and you're going to follow along and you'll have something that you can publish to Amazon by the end of this. I know there's a bit of a lag in the live. Got into book poll. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Now they're coming in. Awesome. There's about a what 30, 30 second lag or so. So yes. apologies if I'm being a little bit quiet in between. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Cool. All right, let's do it. I'm going to close out this book. Now, I do need to make a note of the research, what you guys are looking for before we jump into it, because what you don't want to do is come up here. If I just say, hey, I'm going to look in the notebook category. I'm going to look at see what is selling here. And you guys are smashing this site, so it might be loading a little bit slow. I'm going to open up the product search because I already have it open. I'm going to show you guys how to create a pretty simple book in the mushroom hunting category, if you will. So remember when I said there's a niche for everything under the sun? Uh, there are people out there who every year during specific times of year, depending on where they are located, they will go out into the woods and they will find mushrooms. And they like to write down the GPS location or take notes on that. Maybe they're selling them at their local farmer's market you name it. So I came in here to the product search. Now this is going to be a more refined search because it's going to allow you to look in the general category. And I'm just thinking to myself, hey, I have this idea for a mushroom hunting journal or notebook or logbook. First, I want to know, do other people on Amazon buy that kind of stuff? Because I don't want to waste my time. You don't want to waste your time. We need to validate that there's customers on the other side of the screen that you're never going to meet, more than likely, uh, that, that actually want to buy these type of products. We do this before we even start creating. So we're going to come in here. I just typed in mushroom hunter in the general category, and I see a coloring book. I see mushrooms of Ohio. I see mushroom hunting log book. It's got 30 ratings and it's selling and it's priced at under $8, right? So it's cheap. People aren't going to think twice about spending five, six, seven, eight dollars on Amazon. So I can see that it's selling. I can see another one. I can see another one also selling, also selling mushrooms. Of the, so Right off the bat, all right, I, I found a niche. I realized that there's a bunch of people on Amazon that actually buy this stuff. Okay, great. I can also look on the right side of the screen here. This is related keywords. So we know people buy them, but are people actually searching for these keywords, right? Mushroom Hunter. We have some uh, Mushroom Hunter Journal. We have a Mushroom Hunter Logbook. Monthly search following. There's over a 1,000 people a month looking for this type of product. All right, so now we found, we, we know some keywords that people are actively searching for. We see some products, so we know that there's actually demand there. Because remember, at the end of the day, you're going to be creating products for the customer, not for yourself, because it's going to be a business. Now, if you want to create something for yourself and order it, and that's the only sale you're ever going to make, totally fine. But remember, we're going to treat this like a business. We're not going to waste time, and we're going to jump into this. Next thing I did was I opened up Amazon and I just typed in the keyword I found, mushroom hunting logbook, okay? And at the very top here at the bottom, I know this might be a little hard to see on the screen, but it says there's 227 results. There's only 227 other products. You're not competing against 100,000 people. You're not competing against a million people. 227. So you can look through these results and you can see like, hey, it's selling. It's got reviews. It's selling. It has reviews. And look at the covers and see like, all right, what are people doing to get an idea of what people on Amazon are willing to buy, right? So you can look through all this stuff. And I just decided to myself, all right, we're going to go for it. We've got this live with Monique coming up. Uh, we're going to start creating this product. So if you guys have are inside of the, of, of the BookBolt account, you're going to use that hint in live, all one word, lowercase, with the link in the description. You should be inside at this point. We are going to go in and we are going to start creating this. All right. So we're going to jump on in here and I got to find it. It is right here. Let's go ahead and get started. I can see in the comments we are getting a few timeout errors. I think that everyone is hitting the server at the exact same time here. Uh, let's see, lost sound. Sharice, uh, Monique, can you hear me all right? I, I assume so. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Is right Perfect. Over here. Let's see. All right. 
see my niece sounds good so i can hear you so i'm like okay yeah let me give me one second here i'm gonna refresh this page i'm gonna pause this on a screen that you guys can't see here i think it's because there's literally a thousand people trying to access this all at once give me one moment and yes, you will be able to watch this live later, guys. A lot of people are asking because I see you're at work. Thanks so much for watching us while you're at work. It's working. It's working. Okay, it's working. So yeah, guys, you you might need to re-watch this in the future or just give it a little bit of time. Ton of people smashing the website right now. But I'm going to try to walk through this. And if we come into any issues, um, I just message one of the engineers to increase the uh, server. So when you first get started, and I've just put together a few things, but let's go back before you ever even look at this. I opened the wrong thing inside of BookBolt. This is where you're going to land when you're on uh, that link in the description, right? It's going to look like this. We kind of just showed you real fast the product search and the cloud search, but when you are ready to create products, okay, and what we want to do today is kind of go over how to do that. You want to use this little drop-down menu that says research, and we're going to stop researching, and we're going to go create an actual product. So we're going to click create, and then you're going to click on the BookBolt Studio, okay? The BookBolt Studio took us over a year or two, almost two years to create and it is specifically for creating products on Amazon KDP. Now, yes, if you know how to use Photoshop, if you know how to use any of these other design tools that take a lot longer to learn, by all means, you can do it there. But the thing is, when it comes to KDP, you got a few options. One is trim size, right? So let me just grab this book down here, right? So here is an example of a KDP book, okay? It's not very long. It's probably... I don't know, 150 pages, somewhere within that. But there's different sizes. You can do a six by nine book. You can do an eight and a half by 11 book. There's going to be different sizes that Amazon offers. So the first thing you have to kind of think of is, hey, what size of book do I want to create? And how many pages are going to be inside it? The reason for that is, all right, see this book right here? See that spine? If your book is going to be 300 pages long, this spine is going to be way bigger. So everything's got a margin or dimension to it, which when I first got started with this years and years and years ago was the most confusing thing ever, right? Because if your page number changes, the margins of your cover are going to change. And if you're using any other design program, it's a lot harder to do. So you're going to click on the studio here, okay? Which should bring you over here and you will see something that looks like this when you first log in. And I want you guys to hopefully get inside. Hopefully everything's going to load for us here. I want you guys to select a paperback cover and interior. I really recommend to create these as one project. So you're going to have a cover and an interior together. So you have zero margin issues. Okay. And you'll be able to download and upload this straight to KDP. Next, you can give it a project name. You can literally give this any name you want. This is just for your records to make sure that uh, everything is saved properly. And you can find it in the future if you need to make any edits. Uh, next is trim size. Now, this is where I was talking about the size of your book. You got 5 by 8 5.25 by 8 6 by 9 6 by 9 is the best-selling size book on all of Amazon, all right? Just so you know, so that is going to be the default. You have a seven by 10. And so anything in here that you see is going to be a KDP size. Now, if you open it and you come in here, make sure, to, I'm just gonna keep it generally the same. So I'm gonna pick paperback, cover, and interior. I'm gonna give it a name, doesn't matter what it is. You're gonna pick six by nine. You're gonna leave this default interior and paper type. This again is going to change the margins of your book. So I always recommend keeping it at black and white interior with a white paper. It also will allow you to make the most money on KDP. Why? Because think about the last time you went and bought printer ink for your printer and it was in color, it was probably a fortune, okay? So keep that at black and white. I keep this setting at bleed. That's just gonna be kind of dimensions on the outside. And you're gonna pick a page count. 
Now, these low content books we're creating are typically around 100 to 120 pages. Also, guys, I do want to mention in the chat here is if you can't get into the link because the server is being hammered right now, um, we will end up keeping that in the description for an hour after the live to allow that to function properly. So if you can't get in right now, you're going to use that link as soon as you can. That will be available for after the live because I know chat is flying and this is going to be recorded. So you guys can go back and rewatch all of this. So inside of here, I want you to pick paperback, cover and interior, six by nine, black and white, bleed. And I want you to enter in 100 pages and then you're going to create the project. Now, I've already gone ahead and kind of pre-did some of this. So I want to kind of show you that. Here is the cover. If I would get this to load, which looks like now I'm running into the same issue here. Uh, but there we go. Finally loaded in. Everything's going to get a little slow here. But here's the thing. So I'm going to hide all of this stuff. We are going to hide this. We're going to hide this so you guys can see exactly what it's going to look like when you first get in here. Hide, and we are going to turn that back on. So this is what your project is going to look like when you first get into the software. Now, guys, we're going to keep that link down there for an hour afterwards. So if you can't get in right now, just pay attention, and then you can replicate these exact steps. Now, when you first start the project, you're going to notice on the left side, there's a cover and there's all your interior pages. That's why we created a cover and interior. So this is going to be your complete book that you'll end up publishing on Amazon. Okay. So let's just start with the cover here. And the cover has two pieces of a cover, actually three, I guess you got the right side. That's going to be the cover itself. Now, if you show up on Amazon, this is the cover. Notice it's just going to be the right side. You have the spine. Now, notice I only picked, I think, 100 pages. So the spine isn't huge, but it is going to be there. And on the left, you have the back cover. Now, you don't need to put anything on the back cover if you're doing these low content books. All that's going to show up on Amazon is this front. Okay, so pretty, pretty simple there. Now, I'm going to turn on some of these right now. We're going to show all of this information. Now, you might be looking at this saying, well, I can still see the cover template. Like, what is going on with this? Once you have a BookBolt account, you're inside of the studio, you can pretty much customize anything you want. So without anything selected at the very top, we can actually just turn that template off. We only have that template there to help you guys line things up properly. Um, to create a cover that actually looks good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off so you guys can see it. The very first thing you want to do probably is add yourself a picture in the background, right? So I have actually turned this one way down, uh, but this is what it's going to look like. I just picked a picture um, off the internet. Now, you do need to make sure you're not using intellectual property from another company, right? That, that means no Disney, no Star Wars, okay? Should be pretty common sense. You don't, you didn't start Star Wars, you didn't start Disney, no Mickey Mouse, right? None of that. Uh, but you can come in here to the file library. So you have uploaded a bunch of stuff. We have a Pixabay integration where you can find pictures. Unsplash, again, another integration. But I do want to bring over, if I can find it here. There's this website I'll bring over so you guys can see it called openclipart.org. I love this website because all of the stuff that you'll find here is free for commercial use. It's got an excellent license. You can click on this stuff and download it. So if I click on this and I close this ad that popped up, I can download a PNG, small, medium, large. I can download a vector. And then I can come over to the studio and drag it into here to upload it. Now, if I wanted to add something to the page, all I'd have to do is click on it and it will add it to the page, just like I did for this background here. So what I am going to do here is, so let me see. On the left side. So notice I picked some text here. And I'm going to get rid of this background, at least make it a little bit like that so we could see it. 
your your main menus are going to be two places, one on the left and two on the top. Okay, so you're going to spend the majority of your time if you're just getting started on the cover because that's what the customer is going to actually see. That's going to be number one. Number two is you're going to do the interior. And we're going to show you that in a second. But I do want to show you guys kind of how to do this. So if I just get rid of this text, okay, I'm going to delete that. I can come to the left. That's where your text menu is going to be. I can put a heading in here. And then you see once it's selected, all of the options are at the very top. Now, I don't want to spend the next you know two hours wasting your time, but play around with this once you are inside and you'll be able to see that anything can be edited. So I can come in here and I can say, hey, mushroom hunting uh, log book. I, don't, I think that's what I had before. Click OK. You notice it's pretty big. So all you need to do is drag, drag it around till it looks good. And uh, I don't like that font. So I'm going to come up here to the font menu. You can upload your own fonts if you like. But remember, we're just trying to play around, trying to come up with something that looks fairly decent. I'm going to pick this lobster font. Looks pretty cool. I think that's what I picked here. We'll make that a little bit bigger. And notice, if I zoom in here, you will see that it will center up with that green line right there. And I can fit it to the page. Okay. Now, the same thing I did with this text up here, which is right here. So it's selected. I used curved text, right? So I can edit that. I can change the radius. Maybe I want it kind of like that. And then I just found this little guy. And the reason I brought up that website, uh, Open Clip Art, is because I found that there and I downloaded it as a vector file. And the cool thing about vector files, vector files are essentially math in the back end of an image. And it allows you to change the colors. Okay, so if I zoom in here real quick, I have it selected. It is a vector file. And the way, the way I did that is I went over here to openclipart.org. I found that file. I downloaded it as an SVG. I came over to the studio. I uploaded it right here. So you'll notice SVG. Okay, and then I put it on the page. And once you have an SVG file, you can't do this with like normal images. But once it's selected in the top, you will have replace color. So I can come up here. I can click on that. I can say, hey, I really think that the cap of this mushroom should be, I don't know, green. So I'll select select this color. Okay, so notice that the color will change here. I'm like, you know what? I want that to be green. And then I can change it any way I want and then click OK. I can come in here and do it again. Maybe I want this one to be hot pink. Now, does that look very good? No, but I'm trying to show off kind of what we can do in here. And then we'll fit that to the page. And then we'll have our new graphics. You can take these graphics and you can change them any way you want. Now, if I take the background, right, I took one image. You want to spread out the background past these cuts. So see these green lines right here? It might be a little hard to see, um, but these are what are called cut lines. So when something is on Amazon, and they're going to go to print this in their printing facility. An actual person has to put this through a printer and chop it up and then bind it together. You want to make sure there's no text or anything like that past the cut lines, okay? Um, let's see here. All right. All right, so pass the cut lines. Guys, if you are already logged inside of the studio right now, hopefully it's getting a little bit faster for you guys. We are working on that in the back end. Now, back to what I was saying, you want to make sure you have no text past these. If you do, it's going to mess things up on Amazon, but you're just going to add a normal image. So I'm going to take this image and I'm going to crank this up so you guys can see it, okay? Click OK. I can't read that text. So what are we going to do about that? Uh, let's see. Should we add some white? I don't know. We can add a shape. And I'll make this a little smaller. I'm going to put it over this. I'll drag that to the spine. And now it's just it's black, right? I can't see anything. And that is the text. So I can select each layer on the right-hand side. So I'm going to select the text. I'm going to say, hey, text, you should be white instead. Still can't see it. Why? Because you need to reorder it. Boom. Now I can actually see and I can come in here and I can make sure that everything is looking. Now it's readable, right? It's readable. It's going into the spine. So the spine is going to be right here. Okay. So that's going to print properly. And now I can actually read it. 
I might want to do the same thing up here. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to select this. I'm going to make this text white. I'm going to make this text white. And again, guys, you can add all the text from the left side. And if you have things on the page, you just select them from over here. And let's see, this is like that. And um, I have a shape here. Maybe I have the shape currently as transparent and I have a stroke color. That's why you can just see an outline. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want uh, hot pink. That doesn't look very good. I could put it behind everything down here. Okay. Not really looking that great. So maybe I just want to, I don't know, get rid of that altogether. I can right click this and I can either hide it or I can delete it. So I'll just go ahead and delete it. I still can't really see anything there, right? So why don't we just re-add a rectangle? Make this a little bit bigger. Boom. And then I'm going to bring it down. Uh, move this text up, okay? I can still see that. Now, again, guys, when I'm doing this for real, I actually spend some time to make sure this looks really good. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of just super dark black. You know, I might want to change this slightly. Maybe I can see the background. Maybe for the text, I can come up here. I can add, uh, maybe I want to add like black stroke to the text, right? So there we go. That looks that looks a lot better, actually. So let's let's do that again. I'm going to add a black stroke to the text. Boom, popping out a little bit. Maybe that background color I don't want. Maybe I want a little bit darker. Okay, that's not horrible. Or, or I can change this right here. Maybe I want it a little darker. Boom. Maybe I would do the same thing to this one so that it doesn't look so bad. I don't know, right? The possibilities are endless. I'd spend the majority of your time though. When you're in here in the studio, I'd go through, I'd spend the majority of your time on the cover. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, well, it's a hundred page book. How, how on earth am I supposed to create a hundred pages? Like, even if it's just a journal, that's going to take forever, right? There's two ways to do that. I'm going to go ahead and save this, make sure it's saved. I'm going to come down. I, I did two examples for you guys. One is a very simple interior that you can do in the next 60 seconds. The second one took me a little bit of time. I made it a little bit more complicated. So let's go through that. This one right here, line pages and piece of text. This right here, and I'll show you exactly how to replicate this. Very, very easy. And notice the background. I'm going to make this, boom. I use that same image in the background that we use for the cover, but it just kind of spices up that interior a little bit. Remember, people are going to be receiving these in the mail, right? Like here's one right here. You can look through it, okay? Coloring book pages. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're going to be getting this stuff in the mail. So this is going to be something you want to make sure they have a good experience when they open that package. So this is going to be the easy one. I'll show you how to replicate this very, very quick in one second, but also you can create stuff that looks like this. Okay. So I actually spent some time. I created this. All I did here was I use shapes and I use text. And you can see on the right hand menu, I have a lot of different layers, right? shapes and text. So if someone was doing a mushroom hunting logbook, this could be the entire book. Now this did take me a while, it took me a little bit of time to make, but you need to put in effort. There's no easy button for this, uh, but it is going to allow you to publish this type of stuff on Amazon. Now, again, you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, it's a hundred pages. I don't have time to do that. Uh, most people don't. <laughs> so let me, let me show you how to replicate a page that looks just like this. Okay. We're going to scroll down. Uh, we're going to start on page four, just a blank page so I can show you how to do this. Step one, we're going to open up the page templates. There is over a hundred of them in here. These are all, you can use these to create your low content books. But the one that I'm going to show you off, show to you, show off to you, <laughs> are line pages. Super simple. You don't actually have to create these. So how are we going to do that? Well, we have a few options, ruled, ruled with fields, journals. So let's say I want to do a line page. We'll select ruled, three different variants in here. Maybe I'm going to do a wide ruled. And then here's your entire book. Here's 100 pages. So if I wanted to do an entire book with just line pages, select all, make sure it's not on your cover and click next. But because we're not going to do that right now, I'm going to deselect all. I'm going to say, hey, I want line pages on page four. So click on page four, 
click on next. It's going to say, do you want any margins at the top and the bottom? Do you want space between the lines? Do you want to change the line color? Just for example purposes, I will keep it the same. So we'll go ahead and click on submit. Boom, done. There are There's your line pages. So I can come in here if I really wanted to and be like, hey, um, I actually want this to be black. Now the lines are black. So super simple, right? But that doesn't exactly look like this page. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up that file library where you can either use Pixabay, Unsplash. Remember, open clip art is a good place to look as well. Find an image and to put it in the background. So you'll see right here, I found this image. So I'm going to click on that. And this is what the image looks like normally. Okay. So all you're going to do is you're just going to make it big so that it looks decent. All right. So let's say that you're happy with that. Well, now there's a problem, right? You can't see the line pages. So what do you do? You come up here to the top menu and you first, first, before you do that, you need to make it black and white. Remember, we don't want to pay for red ink, brown ink, any kind of ink, because Amazon is going to have a higher print cost for that. Remember, we want to make the most money possible. So we're going to select that image. We're going to come up here to effects, and we're going to say, hey, we want to grayscale that. Okay. Now we're not going to be charged extra from Amazon. Now, Amazon's not going to charge you physically. They're just going to pay you a smaller amount when you make a sale. But now we need to make sure that we move this so that we can see those lines in the back. So all you have to do is come up here and change the opacity way down. Okay, boom. There you go. There you go. Now you have the line pages and I can move this image to the back if I wanted to make it a little nicer. And then I could come in here and add some text. So I could come up here and say, hey, I really don't like that font, but I do like this one. And say, what did I say here? Morel hunting day, you know, I could say, you know, mushroom notes. If I could spell today and select that again. And a lot of the time when you're going through here, you're going to end up clicking and moving random things. And if I don't want to do that, all I need to do is right click and lock those layers. Now, the only thing I can move is this, right? So I can come in here, play around with it, change it up. So anytime you guys actually want to make sure you're not moving things, lock the layers. Okay. Big tip there. Way easier. So spend some time going through the cover of your book. If you want to create something a little bit more complicated, you can do that. It just might take a little bit more time. Okay. So notice all of these right here. And this would be great for someone who's actually using this book. Remember, you have customers who are going to be using these type of books. Now, there's one problem here. We did a quick cover. And again, guys, I'm not doing this for real. I'm trying to show off what can be done. But I want you guys that are inside the studio, if you're clicking that link below, you're getting inside. I want you guys to have a book up by the end of the day. And I'm telling you, if you just focus on your cover, okay? So you're going to create a cover. And again, I did this in like five seconds, as you saw. Create yourself a cover. Create yourself one interior page. And I'm I'm telling you, if you just do the page templates, just do a lined page, put an image in the background, make it grayscale, push it to the back. So notice it just gives it that little extra oomph. Then you're almost done. Two other things that you probably want to do, right click this, and you will not have to do this on every single page. You are going to click clone this page to others. Okay, so you only did the work on one page and you'd be like, hey, I want that page on either your entire book or just to show you guys how this works, I'm going to deselect all. Remember, I had one page. I'm going to put this on page five, six, and seven and click on clone. It's going to say, hey, everything's going to be replaced on those pages. Do you want to do that? And you say, yes, yes, I do. And if you scroll down here, they are being added right there. So it is literally that easy. Once you're done with that, now all you have to do is download it and upload it to Amazon. That's the easy part. You're going to come up here to download. You're going to click on download project, CMYK printed books. And that is going to download your project to your computer in a zip file. You're going to right click that, extract it. You're going to have two PDFs, one for your cover and one for your interior. So if I can actually do this for a new project, 
because I see someone says this is not for beginners. I'll show you how fast this is. I will create an entire interior of a book ready to go. And then all you really have to do is focus on the, on the cover. So I'm going to give it a project name. I'm going to say a test book, six by nine bleed. I'm going to set this at 25 pages just to show you how this works. We're going to create a project. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to say, you know what? I want some lined pages. I'm going to select the entire book. I'm going to click on submit. There I have, if I don't want to do anything else, there's my interior done. If I wanted to actually do a little bit extra, open up the file library. I'm going to take that same mushroom book. Boom. All right. We're going to make this black and white or grayscale. I'm going to change the opacity way down like this. All right. And then I'm going to save that. I'm going to right click. I'm going to clone. I'm going to clone it to everything but the cover. It's going to say, hey, do we want to replace it? And I'm done. How long did that take? Right. 20 seconds. 30 seconds. And then all you need to do is focus your time and effort on the actual cover. So guys, if you have not clicked on that link, I think we actually just got that fixed. So go back, refresh that page, click that link. It's going to be a no credit card required. Make sure you're entering in Hinton live because that is going to be removed. Okay. That is going to be removed. We're going to leave that up for about an hour. But I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to create this material. And then, uh, Monique, I know you did a video, mm -hmm. which is coming up on like 2 million views. If you want to link that, that actually goes through the upload process, which is the easy part, to be honest, um, of actually uploading those uh, PDFs from that zip file. I'm grabbing it now. I will drop Perfect. that link in the description for you guys to take a look at it. All right, I see some questions in here. So maybe I'll stop sharing my screen and we can kind of just go through general questions and then I can share again if needed. Um, but that's literally how easy it is to one. I mean, we we found a niche very quickly, actually. You know, we weren't up against tens of thousands of people. I think it had, before I stopped sharing here, it looks like it had 227 results, okay? I showed you guys how to quickly and very quickly 20 seconds, create an interior, and then you focus your time on the cover. You're going to come up here to download. You're going to download these for printed books. It'll download this zip file, but Monique did a video on that, so I'm not going to bore you guys with that. Go and watch that video. I think she's going to link it somewhere. Maybe she already did. Um, and then after that, it's really just doing the research and putting in the effort, playing around with the keywords and everything like that. So I did see a comment. I'm going to stop sharing here. So I can read it. Uh, I just think I lost it. All right. So I see someone asking what the costs are. So this is the best part about KDP. KDP account, it's free. You don't pay for it. You don't pay for it when you make a sale. You don't pay for it in the future. You didn't pay for it 10 years ago. KDP, absolutely free. Bookbolt, you have a free three-day trial in the description, make sure to use Hinton Live. That'll give you 20% off if you want to continue afterwards, which if you're doing this, it gets pretty addictive. Um, so that'll chop off 20%. So that'll be either $7.99 or $15.99 a month, depending if you're doing puzzle books or not. Uh, but to get started, you can have a book up by the time we're done talking, if everything is loading for you uh, on Amazon. Now, Amazon does tell you that they will take up to 72 hours to launch your book live. Uh, it can be faster than that. It can be slower than that. But typically, they're they're pretty fast with that. So the cost to actually get a book up now is nothing, zero. All right. That is literally the one question that popped out to me. I know that chat has been just moving and flying. Yeah. <laughs> it has been interesting. I just put a link up for everyone to ask Neil some questions. One thing I see someone asking, Neil, is... yeah. Um, how do you find the keywords for Amazon to make so, sure? Yeah, so keywords, there's a few different ways to do that. And instead of sharing my screen, I'll just kind of talk through them real fast. So number one is if you get that free, a free account for the three days in the description below, I did two very long videos on this which are way more in-depth than we can get into right now. So you're going to click on the weekly calls button at the very top. You're going to scroll down to the bottom. There's two, there's 
the last two videos, so the very first ones we published were not weekly calls. They will go through the entire process, like hold your hand on, hey, here's how to find the keywords. Here's how to enter in the keywords. So that's always what I recommend people do. But just to kind of walk through the process, BookBolt's going to provide a lot of that information for you through the different modules. And it's also going to allow you to look at products that are actively selling. And if they're selling, they got in front of the right audience, right? So you can pull out keywords from their title, from their description. You can even look at the reviews of other products because you might come across a product on Amazon that's selling pretty well, but you might have a few angry people in the reviews. And I found a lot of niches like this where they're like, hey, this book doesn't have X, Y, and Z. I'm so disappointed. And I'm thinking to myself, well, I could create a unique product that does have X, Y, and Z. And that is what's going to differentiate my product from the one that's already selling. So that's also an excellent way to number one, come up with ideas, but number two, um, actually create new products and get keywords with what people are actually looking for. Let's see here. Some, are you able to see the questions, Neil? I am looking, I see the ask something button, but I do not see the question. I can just see the main chat here. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm I, do see I do see a question though that I want to answer real quick just in the normal chat. It says, can you tell how much KDP keeps from the profit? Yeah, so if you go to uh, KDP... I know you guys can't see this. If you just Google KDP calculator, um, it's going to be under the first result, printing cost and royalty calculator. So it'll allow you, you know what? Let me share my screen one more time because this is important. Uh, share screen, share screen, and share screen. So right here, it's, it's going to allow you to select a paperback, a hardcover, the interior type. So this is why I say keep it at black and white. Enter in a page count, right? Remember that one price we saw was like $30.59 or something? And I think the page was like $2.53 off the top of my head. And you'll see I'm making almost $14.50 a sale. So you can come in here and at the 100 to 120 pages, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's say 100 pages, paperback, black and white, Amazon, Normally for a low content book, you're looking at like $5.99 to say $8.99. So anywhere in there. So if I put in $7.99 here, click on calculate, you're going to get $2.64 a book. Now, it doesn't sound like that much, right? But you're dealing with no customers. You're, you have a product up for millions of people around the world because it's not only going to the U.S. market. It's, going, it's pretty much going globally, right? It'll be available all over the place. And they're going to pay you that each and every single time it sells. So you're building a foundation for your business with each book that you put up. So you can play around with this. Just Google KDP calculator and you'll see it. Um, but that that is something definitely to take a look at. I pinned a question up top. Someone said, can I add my own templates? You absolutely can. So if you are inside of the studio, you maybe, you know what? Why don't I just keep sharing my screen? Uh, and then we can kind of walk through that way. So share. All right. Can you add your own templates? You absolutely can. Two ways to do that. One, if you have, say, a PDF or an image or something you want to use, you just upload it to the file library right here. And it's being a little bit slow still. But you can also click on the upload PDF. Now, if you have a PDF from somewhere else, you just click upload PDF. It's going to say, hey, do you, was this a paperback interior PDF? Is it a hardcover? Is it just a PDF that you made? Because you can make a PDF and say Google Sheets, right? That's basically free Microsoft Excel. You can do that, download it as a PDF and upload it here with no margins. And when you do that, it's going to upload right here into a folder. So I, you upload it once, I can right click this and I can use that file as a template for my entire book. So you, you upload one single page if that's what you're looking to do. It'll upload inside a folder. You right-click it, and you use that template for your entire book. So yeah, answer the question is you can absolutely do that. All right, I am pulling up some more questions. You guys have some really great questions here. Let's see, we have CCG. They say, do you have any tips for creating catchy titles that sell? 
So catchy titles is going to be something to think about. Why? Because the title of your book, and I didn't actually go over this, which is why if you're inside a book, bowl, click on this weekly calls button and watch that last two, those last two videos. It'll go over this, but I should mention it now. The title of your book. Okay. So let's just pull up something on Amazon here. Um, do, 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 do. Let's pull up this one. This is a good example. Okay. So you can see on this page, you can see the cover. It says mushroom hunting logbook. But when you look at the actual big long name on Amazon, you're going to see there's a colon right here. So there's two places when you're uploading to KDP. So go back, rewatch Monique's video on that. That has almost like 2 million views. Excellent, excellent, excellent tutorial. You need to make sure the title of your book, because there's a subtitle section. And there is a title section. The title of your book is needs to be on the front cover or your spine. But I always tell people just to do the front cover because technically the spines are pretty small. And that's going to be everything before the colon. You're not going to want to add anything extra here. So whatever you put on the front of your book is what you want to match up with on KDP. And everything after that is going to be keywords, phrases. I like to make them readable, but this is going to be your subtitle. So kind of a roundabout way to answer the question, but you shouldn't just come up with something that you think is catchy. I would make the title of your book based on the research. What are people looking for, right? So if I come back inside of Book Bowl here, we're in the research section in the product search. If I scroll down here on the right-hand side, we're looking at keywords. I can see that I thought I saw it in here. Do, 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 basket guide, knife, shirt, book. You know, Mushroom Hunter's book. You have Mushroom Hunter logbook. Like 1,400 people a month are searching for that. So instead of coming up with something catchy, I want to get it in front of a customer. Catchy is not going to be always what is people are searching for. So it's trying to match up those keywords with the customer search and getting them together. And if you get that right, you'll get the visibility that you should have by getting that product in front of uh, the right customer who will hopefully purchase the book. All right, we have some really, really great questions here. Someone is asking about ISBNs. Do you need an ISBN? Yeah, so ISBNs, you don't, for low content books, and Amazon has been kind of confusing about this, so definitely understand the question. Low content books, so think about books that are mostly going to be filled in by the customer. We're talking journals, kind of what we showed off here in the studio. Like this is low content, right? No, there's no words on this page. So when you are uploading your book to Amazon, you don't need an ISBN. They actually got rid of that. You literally just check a little box that says, hey, this is a low content book. And then it will get published on Amazon. So you don't need one at all. Um, you can buy them. If you want to publish other places, guys, I've done that. They're $125. Not worth it. <laughs> Not worth it at all because Amazon's going to let you publish this stuff without an ISBN. And if you're doing books that are not considered low content, so coloring books like this are technically not considered low content books, um, then they will give you a free ISBN. Ooh, I'm trying to go through. There's so many questions here. <laughs> I see uh, someone wants to know, can they do this in a Caribbean? I'm not sure what book boat. Do you? Yeah, uh, you can see that's the thing with you can sell on the Amazon KDP platform. So the biggest sales channel, because we're talking globally, right, is definitely the U.S. market. Like that's where the majority of people um are buying products. Yes, your book will show up on different Amazon locales. Most people are selling and making the majority of the money in the US market, but you can be from anywhere pretty much and sell on the US market. Now, when it comes to entering in your bank account information, et cetera, so that KDP will pay you, um, you can either use your bank account or if it's not working, you can just set up a Payoneer account, uh, which is free to set up. It basically gives you a US bank account and then just take your tax interview. So you can do this from anywhere. Um, I do know at least one person in Jamaica who does uh, KDP. So I definitely know that it's possible. 
Jazz has a really good question here. She says, do you have any tips for currently published KDP books that don't seem to be selling? Should I delete and start over if it's been a few months? I would not delete them and start over. I would try to figure out why. So that basically means, hey, if it's been a few months, you know, some of the books you might've put up when you first got started, you could have, there could be an umpteenth number of reasons, right? The, the cover could be not that great. And we all know, well, maybe we don't. I know that my first covers were bad. They were just bad, right? Because I'm not an artist. It took me a while to actually get something that is like aesthetically pleasing. So take a look at your cover, make sure your interior is good. But the big thing is go back. If you've not watched those videos um, from the weekly calls at the very bottom, I seriously want to bring your attention to that because it's going to go over all the things to look for. So if you haven't sold from those books, go back and do the research, specifically looking at Amazon for your main keyword. How much competition are you going to be up against? And the reason I say that is if I come over here, I'm just going to enter an Amazon a Sudoku book. Um, let's, let me just make that a little better. So, okay. Sudoku book. Hopefully I spelled that right. It says over 8,000 results. If I come down here uh, to the very bottom and I'm going to click on like the third page, there's over 60,000 Sudoku books on Amazon. So if I was brand new and getting started and I was like, hey, I'm going to do a Sudoku book and I get mine up and I'm like, where are all the sales? Well, there's 60,000 other people that made it to market before you. So it's going to be a lot, 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 lot more difficult to get that visibility um, for your book because of all the other fish in the sea, which is why I always recommend doing the research first and looking for at least under a thousand results because that's a lot easier uh, to actually get that ranking. So I'd go back, I'd redo the research, take a look at all of that information um, and then make a decision on what you want to do from there. Here's a question I see often, Neil. They want to, this is orangey, orange. I'm so sorry if I annihilated your name, but <laughs> do you need to have an LLC in order to sell through Amazon? No, you don't. And then here's the thing, guys, is that you can sign up just under your name, right? But no one's ever actually going to see your name. The only book here, here's the thing. Let me bring that book open, which I think I closed. If I just go, look for my name, uh, Neil Lassen. This is the only book that I have published with my name on Amazon. This is it. Every other book I have on Amazon is under a different brand name. So when you sign up for a KDP account, which you should have done at the beginning of this live, um, the name there is just so that they will pay you. They know who to send money to. They know who to issue the 1099s for at the end of the year. No one on Amazon, like me, I'm not going to see your name pop up under your low content book. And I, you can put that there if you want, but I always recommend not doing it because you might have, you know, a children's coloring book under one brand and you might have a religious Christian book over here and you might have like an adult dirty swear word book over here. Those three books should never be under the same brand because that's just not that's just not a good look. You're probably going to insult people, but they're all different niches that actually sell on Amazon. So spreading those apart and putting them under actual brand names, because there's an audience for everything, but you don't necessarily want to assign your name to something that you're not comfortable with, right? So you can just think about that stuff. But to answer the question, no, you do not need an LLC uh, to sell on Amazon. And Stephanie Cole is asking, is the books or forms protected when published? I'm so the, yeah, I think I understand the question. So when it comes to the, like you can't copyright or trademark lines, right? Anyone can draw lines on a piece of paper. Where you need to actually spend the time and effort is on your cover. You can do it on your interior as well. But the thing is, if you're using commercially free images, those aren't something that you actually drew yourself. So are those going to be copyrightable? No. That being said, because you are selling on KDP, no one can actually just take your exact cover that you put together yourself and sell it for on their own. It's so many questions now. I'm trying to scan through and <laughs> some common questions here. Uh, let's see. 
someone is asking for the link. Do you guys not see the link? I pinned the link in the uh, comments and also is in the description. Do you not see it anymore? Let me close out this Q&A. You guys can just ask the questions in a live Q&A so Neil can see them as well. Let's see. Let's see. I have a lot of things open here. I'm just trying to make, <laughs> make sure that I can see everything. We got a lot of questions. And guys, I don't think we're going to be able to get to you all of these. Yeah, today. We've already yeah, been here about an hour and I don't, yeah. we don't want to take up your time. Um, let's see here. Monique, you have a few extra ones in there and otherwise I can just pick a spot in the chat and just kind of try to go through some after that i closed this so it closed out the questions but they had plenty in here i'm trying to make sure they can see the link are you able to see the link um now because uh, a lot of yeah, people are asking for the link again yeah so if you're on the live you're going to go to the bottom of this video so i'm going to stop sharing just so you guys can see this go to the bottom of this video you're going to look at the description it's literally going to be the first link in the description make sure you're using that coupon code hinton live because we are going to remove that okay that coupon code by the way the the link is going to not require a credit card but if you get addicted to these books which i certainly am i've been doing this forever um, it's going to slash 20 percent off if you decide to grab an account after that three days but link's going to be in the description there i'm going to open up these these comments i'm going to scroll up just a little bit and i'm going to try to go through uh some of these guys We've had so many questions in here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna pick a random spot. So if, if I if I skip yours, please don't feel insulted. It's it's not on, it's not on purpose. Uh, do does one need the same code for KDP or is it free? KDP.amazon.com. You're gonna go there. You're gonna sign up. It's completely free. You're never gonna pay to start a business. Well, at least you shouldn't. At least when it comes to uh, the internet here, uh, <laughs> KDP is free. It, 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 it's free. KDP wants you as a potential author to publish books. When you publish books and make sales, Amazon makes money. That's why it's like a perfect ecosystem, right? Um, if creating a poetry book, are my poems automatically published and protected? Uh, so if you are using your own poetry, uh, technically, and again, I'm not a lawyer, so uh, I don't want to give you the wrong information, but I do think that when you publish something, it does automatically get a copyright if it's written words. I could be wrong on that, uh, but that is my understanding. Um, let's see here. Great information. Question for Neil. Are medium content books sales improved by using A plus content? So there's this term being thrown around and I know Monique's used it. I definitely know I've used it. Medium content, right? There's really no actual definition for medium content. It's just a little bit more than line pages. And it's not a full on written book. So just to show you guys, let me see. I did do a Sudoku book, didn't I? Search at least. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go back to this first page because I know one of these has A plus content. For everyone that's watching that's never heard of, one of these has to have it. So we'll open up a few of these. Uh, so if you're on an Amazon page, this one does have it. Pretend for a minute you published a book. It's going to look like this. Hopefully it's a bestseller. Uh, but what A plus content is, is it's a thing inside of your KDP account that allows you to add some mockups and some text. And why this is great is it allows the potential customer, someone that's looking at your project page, it allows them to kind of envision what it is they're going to be receiving. So I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend um going through and trying out this A plus content. Now, if you have no idea what A plus content is, you're interested in learning more and you hate, you say, hey, uh, we're probably going to end this live in the next X number of minutes. Uh, if you just go to bookbolt.io, you click on the blog, we pretty much have guides for every single one of these things, including how to set up the A plus content. So go read this if you're just even remotely interested, but hopefully you got that free account down below um, and you're already starting to play around with it. But A plus content, like, it helps. It helps a lot. And CCGX, how many keywords do you recommend after the title on KPP? So for the, are we talking specifically about the subtitle? Because uh, the title of your book needs to be what's on the cover of your book. The subtitle of your book, I would try my best to fill it out completely, but we're not just going to keyword spam. Okay, so what I mean by that is I like to put my subtitle as something that contains keywords 
but is a readable phrase. So if I'm coming over here, let's just scroll up and do this one, right? So the title of this book is A Thousand Plus Sudoku Puzzles for Adults. Okay, so notice how I said that out loud. It didn't sound awkward and weird. And then the subtitle of your book is right here, A Book with More Than a Thousand Sudoku Puzzles from Easy to Hard for Adults. Notice how I can actually read that out loud and it doesn't sound bad. It's a better customer experience instead of, and I don't think I have it open now, which was like this. Mushroom hunting logbook. Okay, that's, that's fine. No, but wait, then, I don't see the screen. I'm so sorry. Are you sharing your screen? Oh <laughs> my, oh my gosh, I'm not. Uh, all right. So sorry, guys, that was a fail. Um, so let's go back to this one. This is the one that I was just talking out loud about, you know, a thousand plus Sudoku puzzles for adults, readable, understandable, same thing with the subtitle. If you can say it out loud to yourself and you're not like tripping over your words, you're usually pretty good to go. Compare that to this one, right? So mushroom hunting logbook, that's going to be the title, anything before the colon, that's fine. But then all they did was they entered in just a bunch of keywords in no random order, right? Six by nine, formatted journal, notebook, logbook, records, mycology, fungi, hiking, camping, forging. Yeah, you're you're entering in keywords, but this just looks ridiculous. And for some people, it might be a turnoff from this product versus another product in the same niche because they can easily read it. And they're like, hey, uh, you know, it just this is just what I decided to go with. So yes, you want to use keywords in your subtitle for sure, but you want them to be readable, a good customer experience. You don't want them to look like this. Is essentially essentially a way to say it there. Well, let's see here. Can you use Canva templates or Creative Fabric templates? You can. You can definitely do that. But the reason we spent so much time uh, building out this studio is because if you go inside of Canva, and this gets brought up all the time, and you don't have everything exact. So I'm talking about the cover, right? This right here is 25 pages. If you do a 25 page book and say Canva and you try to put it up on Amazon, you have a hundred page interior, you're going to get ears all over the place. You're going to be confused. It's horrible. We've done everything inside the studio here to make it so that when you create something, all you have to do is go over to Amazon and match this up. You're going to select six by nine. You're going to upload a paperback cover. You're going to upload the interior. You're going to select bleed. You're going to select black and white, and you're going to publish that sucker. Right. So then you're not going to run into any issues with margins, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, how do I take it off of Book Bowl to KDP? Once you're done creating your project. Now, this is this is just a test project, right? So I'm not going to download this now. You're going to come to download at the very top. You're going to download this as a CMYK. Don't need to know what that means. It's just a color set. It's going to download a zip file. And all you have to do is extract that. Right click, extract. You're going to have two PDFs. Cover in an interior, you're going to go to Amazon. You're going to upload that when it asks you to. So super, super simple. Um, let's see. Uh, are you behind sales samurai? That is also me. Yes, it is. Awesome. If you guys are, and you can sell this stuff over on Etsy too. Now you're not going to be selling printed books. That's the cool thing about Amazon, but let's just say that you're the artistic type and you're like, this is a cool idea, but I don't really want to for some reason, don't want to create books, don't want to create physical products. There are, there's a big community of people who buy these low content interiors for their own business. You could provide those and sell those on Etsy, right? So like, there's so many different ideas around this print on demand industry, which is what it is, right? You put a product up, Amazon only prints it and ships it when someone buys it. Let's see here. I see a question about categories now. Someone is asking, can you go over like how you select the best categories? They're having trouble with that. Yeah. So once you're inside a book bowl, we're going to go back to a research. So anyone who's ever looked at Monique's video or gone through the upload process on KDP knows they got to pick two categories and their category tree looks like it's from like 1987. Horrible. It's bad. It's, it's downright ugly. It's hard to find what you're doing. So we're going to open up this KDP categories inside of book bowl right here. Hopefully this is going to load for us pretty soon, but this is going to allow you to actually search through and look 
I don't know why that's not loading right now, but it's going to allow you to actually enter in main keywords. So if you're doing a mushroom book over here, right? You're not going to type in, hey, I'm going to look for a mushroom hunting log book that's a formatted journal. You're just going to say, hey, what's the main niche that I'm going into? And it might be foraging. It might be mycology. It might be mushrooms. You're going to enter that in and then you are going to click search and it's going to show you, it's going to filter out every single other um, category that you have to look through that category tree and show you how to get there. So uh, let's, we're timed out because people are still smashing the server. This is one of the biggest lives I think I've ever been on, um, but we're going to get that fixed as soon as we get off here. Yes. But um, yeah, that'll help you filter out so you know exactly which ones to go in and pick inside of Amazon. Uh, let's see here. Can you do it from a mobile phone? You can, wouldn't recommend it. I don't, it is really hard to run a business from a mobile phone. Uh, any kind of computer though, will it definitely work? Um, can we go to Fiverr to get a freelancer for the book cover? Yeah, absolutely. Once you're done, once you, I mean, you can go anywhere you want. You can draw it yourself. You can get your neighbor to do it. You can get your brother to do it. You can order one on Fiverr. You can do Upwork. I really like Upwork. Um, but once you are inside of the studio here, you just come over to the file library and you drag it and drop it directly into there. And then you'll be able to add it to the page. Uh, is having a Seller Central account going to be an issue with me starting this? Absolutely not. They're completely separate. So if you don't have a KDP account, you can just create a new Amazon email and sign up there. They don't want you to have two different KDP accounts, but you can definitely create a new email uh, to keep your KDP stuff separate. Uh, Neil, please answer. Are <laughs> our books forms protected when published? Uh, depends on what you're publishing, Stephanie. So again, line pages can't really be protected. They're line pages. I can do a line page. You can do a line page. No problem. Now, if you're like writing out a full book or you're creating your own custom artwork, that is your intellectual property, right? Not mine. So it really just depends. Uh, Monique, if you can pull out some, because I'm going to not just mm -hmm. read every single <laughs> one in here. we got a lot of chats going crazy. Yeah. Someone just wants to know, are you able to cancel book vote at any time? Yep. You just log in. You come up here to your name, you go to subscription settings, and uh, that's where you change any and all of that. Yeah, so far, I think we hit a lot of these, <laughs> but it's so much. Let's see. Uh, I see one here. And, uh, does Bookable save a copy of my book after it's uploaded to KDP? So we don't save what you upload, but what you create inside of the studio, you go to project, you go to my projects, and you'd be able to go back and work on another project um, from the past, right? So like I might log in, I might work really hard on a book, and then I forget about it or I jump to something else. And then like three days later, I need to come back and load it in. I just come in here and pick whichever one I'm working on. It'll load everything up and you can continue working on it. So that is a good part of the studio too, is you can have everything in one place. Let's see here. Uh, my connection for registration keeps timing out. Did the site crash and create traffic? Yeah, we're getting hammered right now. We are working on that. Um, but that link, we're going to keep that link in the description, guys, as soon as we get off for about an hour to allow you guys to get in and uh, start actually creating this kind of stuff. Uh, can page numbers, ooh, that's it. I meant to go over that, D. Can page numbers be added to any page? What are the options for editing page numbers? Yes. So if you come in here and you're done with your book, I'd recommend you finish your book first that's good. That's going to be a page template. So you'll come in here to page templates. Very first one says blank with page numbers this is going to overlay that onto your books. So I'll just select two pages to show you guys how this works. It's going to put the text, the page number on the outer alignment. So we're going to go ahead and click on submit. And then you will notice, so I can just move this out of the way that here is a page one and again, clickable. So I can come up here and add anything that I want to it. And then that can be your page number and change the font, et cetera, et cetera. And then if I just go to the next page, you'll see it says page two, but it's on the, what looks like to be the inside. This is so that it's always going to be on the outside because remember books have spines to them. So keep that in mind, but that's a great question, D. I did not go over that. So my apologies. 
Uh, I see another one about things from a mobile phone. You can do it on a phone. Wouldn't recommend it. You're going to be in for a hard time uh, running this business from a phone. Any kind of computer, though, it should work. No, I think uh, we covered a lot of these. No. I'm and I don't really see anything like a lot of the questions are similar to something that you've already answered. And if I mean, this will be up live for you guys to rewatch so you can catch anything that we've already talked about. I think that's yeah, I think we covered a ton yeah. of stuff. And guys, if we didn't get your question, I do apologize, but we don't want to be sitting here for all day. I you guys have stuff to do. You some people are at work, so but yeah. yeah, guys, we are going to leave that link and the coupon code in the description for the next hour or so. Um, I do apologize for the people who haven't been able to get in. I was not expecting this many people to show up. So I'm going to work on that as soon as I get off of this call. But yeah, I think I think that covered a lot of, a lot of material. All right, guys, give Neil a round of applause in the comments. Can we give a show him some love? Thank you so much, Neil, Absolutely. for stopping by and sharing this with us. It's really been very, very helpful. And you've hit a lot of questions that I've seen so many people asking in the comments after I post videos. So uh, trying to make sure I have everything. So how long are you going to keep that link up again? Well, let's keep it up for the at least the next hour or two. I'm going to go. I'm going to get off this call. We're going to figure out... Uh, everything there make sure that's good to go because i want to give you guys a chance to get these books up like my only request to everyone watching this is to just take the action and get your first book up not tomorrow not ne today like you can you can get a product for sale on amazon.com the biggest e-com marketplace in the world today so we'll get that fixed and then you guys will be able to grab that and use that coupon code in the description and have that product up at the end of the day Yes, look at all that love they're giving you, Neil. That is, so yeah, this chat is flying. <laughs> oh, someone said I missed the intro. I sure did, y'all. And by the way, I am a little under the weather. That's why if you hear how I sound, that's it. But uh, hello, bonjour, hola, aloha, konnichiwa, wa guan, shalom, assalamu alaikum, jambo, namaste. I know y'all wanted to hear that. <laughs> yes. Awesome, but other awesome. than that, yeah, I think that is all we have for you guys today. Again, Neil, I really appreciate you for coming and helping us out. And again, this is Neil, the owner of Book Boat, y'all. He's a big deal over here, okay? <laughs> so, uh, Well, thank you so much for having me. This has been fun. There's been a lot of questions and comments. I love it. So thank you again. Yeah. All right, guys. So all right, guys. I'll have, have a, a good day. one. Ooh. Okay, now that was absolutely.